Here we have an insulin pump that controls the blood sugar level in a human, and we want to tune this control system such that the overshoot is always less than 7%. This is a very good example where the overshoot needs to be limited, and the proper analysis of the control system will help us determine the values of the control system gains to ensure that a debt threshold is never passed. This transfer function here represents the human body and how it reacts to a certain input, and why is the blood sugar level. Our job is to find k such that the percent overshoot is always less than 7%. First things first, we need to find the transfer function y over r. y over r, in this case, is simply s plus 2 times k divided by s times s plus 1 plus k times s plus 2. We can now simplify this expression. So y over r, factor out all s's. So we have k s plus 2 in the numerator divided by s squared plus s times 1. So s 1 plus s times k plus k plus 2k. Now, what is the value of k that gives an overshoot of 7%? From the standard formulation that you can write as s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared, we know that omega n squared is 2k, and we know that 2 zeta omega n is 1 plus k. The desired percent overshoot is 7%. So 7 is equal to 100 exponential of negative pi zeta over square root of 1 minus zeta squared. Again, this is given in the problem. This is the percent overshoot we want. From this expression, we can find zeta, and by replacing zeta here, we, we should be able to go back to k because that's the only variable we have. Now, how we solve this? We can divide 7 by 100, and you can take the natural log function here, and take the natural log function here, cancels that exponential, so this is equal to negative pi times zeta divided by square root of 1 minus zeta squared. Again, taking the natural logarithm on this side and on that side. Now, this is very simple math. The only thing we have here to solve for is zeta. That's the only variable. So if you solve for zeta, we find zeta is 0 0.667. This is the value of zeta that satisfies this expression. So when zeta is 0 0.667, the percent overshoot is 7%. So this is step one. Now we can go back here to the expressions that we've obtained from the standard formulation and find now the value of k. If you take the second expression here, we have 2 times zeta, which is 0 0.677, times omega n that you get from the top equation here that is the square root of 2k, and this is going to be equal to 1 plus k. We can square both sides of this equation to get rid of this square root, and this will now become a second order polynomial. We find the roots of that polynomial. One of the roots is likely to be negative, or that it wouldn't meet this requirement here because a negative um, a value of k would lead to instability. So you only consider the positive solution of this expression when you solve for k. And that value is approximately 1. This is the value of k that will satisfy this expression. Again, this is a very simple second order equation to solve. So let's recap what we did here. We want the percent overshoot to be 7%. By saying that, 
we can, it's the same as saying we want the damping ratio to be 0 0.667. It's the same statement. We relate them, we relate the percent overshoot and the damping ratio to this through this expression. Now, if you want the damping ratio to be 0 0.667, we look at our transfer function, put that in this standard form, and now find the value of k that results in a damping ratio of 0 0.667. From this expression, we got omega n as 2k, and you got 2 zeta omega n equals to 1 plus k. Now replace zeta here, solve for k, and that's the value of k now that it gives this damping ratio that it gives that percent overshoot.